Hi, welcome back to my channel. I've done a makeup look, well, I've done a makeup tutorial on my eye look today. My perfect feline flick cat eye um, with a little something extra. So I put some sparkles just in the centre of like basically like where the most bulbous part of my eyeball is just to give a little something something. But yeah, it was with the um, MAC. Um, Day Gleam Pressed Pigment, which looks like this. Um, I've kind of like used it loads with my finger, which is why in this bit it doesn't look too like um, glittery. But basically, just to show you, if you use a little bit, then it looks like that, just like a bit um, sparkly. But if you kind of keep going over, there's actually a bit of colour to it, and um, it's a bit like nudey. But yeah, it's just like basically like this, like a really cute. Um, sparkly colour. So yeah, I really really like it and it's really easy to use because it literally just my finger. Sometimes I use um, a brush but I feel like you just don't need it and I'd always rather use my fingers than brushes on my eyes just because they're a bit more delicate, a bit more gentle and they're just easier as well. So I didn't do the tutorial for my whole face because I wanted to spend a bit of time going through my eye makeup. I know it looks very simple and to be fair it is but it takes a bit of time so I wanted to take the full time to talk you through it. I'm really into creating like a teeny bit of a flick with the eyeshadow at the moment so I've done that as well and then I've done the wing with the eyeliner and then that's about it. Oh and the sparkle. <laughs> But yeah, I really hope you like the look. If you do, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I know I don't have many subscribers at the moment. I'm quite a baby channel. But yeah, I really hope you like the look. It's pretty easy to do. What I would say is just take your time with it. Um, um, good things come to those who wait, so be patient. Build up the colour slowly in terms of the eyeshadow because you want it to be like um, a subtle all over colour and not like really heavy in one particular area so you want to go in with a small amount of pink pigment each time and really like go in small circular motions to really like buff it out. If you want to know how to recreate this eye look keep watching and I hope you enjoy the tutorial and I'll see you in my next video. Starting off with my Painterly Pro Longwear Paint Pot by MAC as a primer. Basically I like to use this primer because it gives a little like pink tinge to my eyelid and I don't actually like my eyelid being exactly the same colour as the rest of my face because naturally, <clears throat> oh I threaded my eyelid this morning, my eyelid, my eyebrow this morning, so um, it's a little bit tender and red. If you want a video on how to thread, let me know. I get distracted really easily. Back to this. I like to use this um, primer on my eyelid because I like, yeah, I like to have a natural looking finish to my makeup and I don't feel like naturally eyelids are the same kind of tone or colour as your face so kind of like to mirror that in my makeup and keep it that way um, and I also just like to apply it with my finger because it just first of all it warms up the primer a little bit and I find like so I used to use this is what a lot of people use to put primer on like this kind of brush which is fine I find when you use this it doesn't get the warmth from your finger so it doesn't go like creamy and sometimes when I use this I feel like it's a thick paste that I'm trying to spread on my eyelid and I'm not really loving that vibe I don't think it's like I don't want to feel like I'm putting a thick paste on my eyelid. So I like, and you can see it's like warm and melted a bit. So I think the finger's the best thing to use. And also it's a bit more gentle and my eyelid's just loving it. So, so I'm just going to pop this on with my finger, as I just said. But yeah, a lot of people just use concealer to prime their eyes, which um, is fine. Sometimes I do that too. But, um, yeah, other times I like to just do this. And I also just put this on, like, if I'm not even going to wear much or even any makeup, I just put this on because I don't think you can tell that I'm wearing anything on my eyelid when I wear this. But you can't see any blue and there's, like, an even complexion. So, yeah, I live for this eye primer. I'm going to go over the top of that with some loose setting translucent powder. The one I'm using is by Laura Mercier. Just to basically um, give the eyelid a powdery finish so the eyeshadow is gonna go on easier and like blend into the powder. It will also just naturally brighten it up as well. Next I'm gonna use my Jaclyn Hill and Morphe 
JH30 blending brush and if you haven't seen my first impression video on her eye master collection then go check it out, I'll put the link in the description box. I like these brushes but I'm not going to give away my honest opinion, you'll have to go and watch the video. I'm going to go in with the colour Limit which is this colour right here from the Naked 3 Urban Decay palette. And I'm just going to softly apply this to basically my brow bone. Um, and I'm going to also drag it quite far out as well because I am going to come back and clean up that um, outer bit over there. Which is why I'm doing my eyes before my face today. Um, so I'm going to be quite flippant with this and just apply like bit by bit and build the colour. So I'm starting off putting it on the outer V of the eye in small circles and then I'm buffing it into my brow bone in small circles all the way around my eye. And then I'm just going back in windshield motions as well. I don't have to be too precise, I mean it's a really light colour so it's quite hard to see anyway. But I do want it to be like really buffed out and blown out. I'm just slowly building the colour like this. Making sure it's an even wash all over this bit of the eye. And just going back in each time with a really small bit on my brush. And making sure it's fully blended before adding to it. And to be honest, if you work this way with all your eyeshadows, they're always going to look really nice. Next I'm going to go and clean up this edge a little bit, so I want like a little bit of a precise line there. Um, and that's the line that I'm going to stick to when I come to do my eyeliner. So I'm just going to use on a Q-tip and this, which I love, which is my um, Garnier Cleansing Water. So I'm just like putting a bit on the Q-tip and then I'm going to, where I want to do my wing, so following my... Um, as straight as possible. Next with my finger again I'm going to go in with some Day Gleam. Um, I'm using my finger because it's a little bit less shimmery and I don't want it too shimmery, I literally just want like a Day Gleam. So I'm just going to put a bit on my finger and basically just dab it a little bit in the, in the actual centre of the eyeball in the lid. Just to give it a little something something. Next I'm going to go in and do my um, liquid eyeliner on the top. So I'm going to talk you through how I like to do my favourite cat eye. The um, eyeliner that I tend to use is this Benefit Push Up Liner. And it's nice, you can just twist the end and then it's got like a pointed tip. So it's really easy to use. So I'm going to start um, with the wing first of all. So I'm going to put it exactly on the edge, I'll just come in a bit closer so you can see. So I'm going to put it exactly on the edge of the shadow and that's where I'm going to put a little wing and then I'm going to go straight and connect that bit to the highest part of my eye and then I'm going to do a really small line um, to my inner corner and that's how I basically do my eyeliner, I do it in those three stages. The only issue with this eyeliner is that you have to wait for it to get a bit warm and sometimes it can blob out a little bit. So I just do some strikes on the back of my hand just to like get it moving, you know. So next I'm going to put mascara on, um, actually no, next I'm going to do my under eye, so I'm just going to use the JH39 which is this small brush here and I'm going to use just the same colour, so um, Limit from the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette and I'm just going to lightly apply um, this to my lower lash line. 
So I'm going to put some mascara on and do the rest of my face and I'll be right back. So there you have the finished look. I put mascara on. Um, I also put a bit of inner corner highlight and some brow bone highlight and I did the rest of my face. This is my like go-to cat eye um, but I've put a little bit of sparkle if you can see in the centre. Um, just for a teeny bit of like something extra. Yeah so I love this look. I think it's perfect for the daytime. But it also has a teeny bit of sparkle, so it's daytime, but with a little bit extra, you know? Not wearing lashes, because I don't tend to wear lashes that much, particularly in the day. I actually don't wear lashes during the day, because I think that's actually, for me, like, honestly a bit much. So I'm just distracted, because I can see someone up there. Um, I hope you like the look, and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. It's a short and sweet one today, and it's quite an easy look to achieve. For now, that's a bye from me, but I'll see you in my next video.